Welcome back everyone. In the previous videos, we explored Next.js file-based routing mechanism. We learned how to create routes for the root of our application, nested routes, dynamic routes, and catch-all routes. However, in those examples, we manually entered the URLs in the browser's address bar to navigate to the different routes. That is not how regular users would navigate our application. Typically, Users rely on UI elements like links to navigate, either by clicking on them or through programmatic navigation after completing an action. Let's learn how to do the same with Next.js. Let's start with our first example. Navigating from the home page to the blog page on click of a UI element. To enable client-side navigation, Next.js provides us with the link component. The link component is a React component that extends the HTML anchor element, and it is the primary way to navigate between routes in Next.js. To use it, we need to import it from next slash link. Back in VS Code, in our root page.tsx, located in the app folder, import the link component. Now, in the JSX, we can use the link component to navigate to any route in our application. Here's the syntax. Link, the text is blog. href is equal to slash blog. By importing the link component and providing the desired route through the href prop, we can create clickable navigation elements. In this example, the display text is blog and the route we want to navigate to is slash blog. After saving the file, and refreshing the browser, you should see the rendered blog link. Clicking on it will successfully navigate you to the slash blog page. Let's try this one more time to reinforce the concept. For example two, let's navigate to the products page. So right after the first link, add another. Link, the text is products, and the href is slash products. When we return to the home page and refresh, you should see the products link. Clicking on it will take you to the slash products page as expected. It's also common to include a link to navigate back to the root of the application. For example, three, let's add a link in the products page to go back to the home page. Open the page.tsx file in the products folder and import the link component. Within the JSX, invoke the link component with the text home and href is a forward slash representing the root of our application. Returning to the browser, after clicking on products and being navigated to slash products, you should see the newly added link to go back home. Clicking on it, Will navigate you back to the home page. Now let's move on to our next example, navigating to dynamic routes. Currently on the products page, we have a list of three products. Let's convert each product's heading into a link that takes the user to the corresponding details page. If you recall, the detail page route follow the pattern slash products slash product ID where product ID can be one, two, three, and so on. In the page.tsx file, include a link component within each heading tag for all the three products. So link wraps the text product one, href is equal to product slash one. Similarly, we have product slash two and product slash three. Now, when we return to the browser, all three products should be clickable. Clicking on product one will navigate you to the corresponding details page. And the same goes with product two and product three. We have successfully implemented navigation to dynamic routes. Although hard coding dynamic routes works fine like we see here, 
it might not always be possible or desirable. In such cases, you can pass the product ID as a prop to the component. Let's assume we have a route ID of 100 to navigate to. So const product ID is equal to 100. To navigate to this specific product ID, you can use string interpolation with the href attribute. So I'm going to duplicate a heading, change href to backticks, products slash dollar curly braces product ID. We will do the same for the text as well. Product followed by curly braces product ID. Returning to the browser, refreshing the page, you should now see product 100. Clicking on it will take you to the details page of the same product. Our link component-based client-side navigation is working as expected. The one prop I want to highlight regarding the link component is the replace prop. On product 3, let's set the replace prop on the link tag. Now in the browser, let's observe the back button behavior. Let's start from the home page. Click on products, click on product 1, and click back. Click on product 2, and click back. But when you click on product 3, and click back, we are brought to the home page instead of the product list page. So the replace prop replaces the current history state instead of adding a new URL to the stack. This is something to keep in mind. To summarize, the link component in Next.js allows us to navigate between routes using UI elements. To use it, import the link component at the top from next slash link and include it in your components with the desired display text and the href attribute representing the route. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.